Some of you might know how hard is it to dig a hole in a frozen ground. What does it mean to be frozen? What is important in the frozen ground is not that the ground itself is frozen, but that all the water in this ground is frozen. And then when spring comes and temperature rises, the ground melts again. But this is not what we call permafrost. Permafrost involves two things, permanent and frost. That means if the ground remains frozen for multiple years, then we can call it permafrost. Why permafrost is so important for us? Well, permafrost is an excellent record of past climates. Why would we care about past climates, you may ask? Because only through the knowledge of past climates, we can understand the present climate change and predict the future climates. If permafrost is very icy, that means that climate conditions in this area were very wet at the time permafrost formed. If permafrost has low ice content, that means climate conditions were dry when permafrost formed. My project takes place at Herschel Island in the northern Yukon. Whole Arctic is affected by present climate change, and Herschel Island is not an exception, which is reflected in rising permafrost temperatures. My goal is to compare ground ice content and two sites, lowlands and uplands, which marked in with the red arrows. Last summer, my team and I drilled 20 boreholes split between lowlands and uplands. My results showed that lowlands are incredibly icy and uplands have much less ice. My data is unique because it is very precise and it can help us to build a clear picture of what was going on and what climate changes took place in this area and compare it to other Arctic sites. In addition to this, the local application of my project is that Yukon government has a project to move heritage houses which belong to Aboriginal communities and uh, to protect them from rising sea level rise, from sea level rise and erosion. The things that my data suggested that uplands could be a better place for these houses because lowlands are so icy that the surface could become unstable in case it melts. And to conclude, I want to say that my data suggested that permafrost of Herschel Island is, the ICES, is one of the ICES in Canada. And also my project can help to save heritage houses of Herschel Island. Thank you. <laughs>